All right, what is good? We out you again. A lot of DMs lately. Uh, millennials, we call them DMs for direct message. I know Gen Z say PM, I think, for private message. But anyway, I'm getting a lot of messages. People are like, oh, what's the best strategy, this and that? I'm getting caught up in the noise with these high beta names on stock twits or Reddit or from my grandmother. And yeah, cut out all that noise as much as you can. When it comes to eliminating noise, here's the best way to ask a question. If you could only have five plays, what would they be? I, and I chose these very specifically. In this type of market, which is still more of a John Wayne market than it's ever been, every day they're going back and forth. Are we gonna default? You know, are they gonna budge? Are they gonna spend less than they spent last year? Especially with that decision that has to be made on June 1st, which is what, seven days away? You wanna be ready for everything. Everything could completely go to shit. All right, they say if we default, stock market is gonna drop 45%. So that being said, when it comes to five names, if you can only have five plays, cut out all the other noise. Say you're trying to trade intraday, have a strategy. I get caught up on stock tweets. I get caught up on Reddit all the time, you know, just reading, reading, and that's all great stuff, but no one knows, you know? No one knows and no one really has a strategy at all. You know, look at, Upstart, it dumps for the longest time, and now it's pumping. Same with Palantir, it dumped forever, and now it's pumping. When you have a strategy, your chances of actually being a successful trader and being consistently profitable are 10x. So no particular order, if I could only trade five tickers, here's what it'd be. TQQQ, SQQQ, U-V-X-Y, M-A-R-A, and Y-A-N-G. Ricky Gutierrez only trades TQQQ and SQQQ because NASDAQ's the most volatile, and then they're going off NDX, so NASDAQ 100. And you can almost sort of gauge a move. NDX goes up 1%. TQQQ is supposed to go up 3%. And vice versa, if NDX goes up 1%, SQQQ is supposed to go down 3%, and they're gonna swing nice. And it, you can kind of gauge that. You can look at SPY, you can look at emerging markets, you can look at futures, you can look at China, you can look at pretty much everything, and that's when it comes to gauging any sort of movement, that's really where it's at. Yeah, they're all optionable, but don't get crazy with the options. You can think like, oh yeah, it's going to move a percent and I'm going to be in the money. All that's priced in. The contracts themselves are more expensive because of the product. But yeah, TQQQ and SQQQ, absolutely. TQQQ, if you're bullish on the market, I mean, you're bullish on tech, boom. Yeah, load up at open. Do your thing and it'll rip. SQQQ market dumped last year. SQQQ ran up over 100%. Take your gains and get out because those plays, ruthless. No prisoners. Number three, though. Number three is Mara, a.k.a. Marathon Digital. Low-key is like the crypto-leveraged ETF, the best of all time. I am I should start playing Mara way more. I, I've gotten caught up on BITO and BITI, but Marathon oh, it swings perfectly. It's relatively cheap now. The options contracts move. They're not super pricey, so I love Marathon. You know, we were looking at puts the other day. They were $11, and then they were $40. It's crazy, you know? So you time that right. Don't I wouldn't even worry about trying to tr trade Bitcoin futures or BITI or BITO. A lot of times, those things are broken. It, at, least, it at least feels like they are a lot of the time. So, yeah, Marathon, absolutely. That's even, Marathon, that's even one I'd hold. Hold for gold there. All right, number four. Lucky number four, oh my God, UVXY to the absolute moon. Right now, we're probably at about what? $3.30? Yeah, so you got to think of UVXY as, or the VIX as the fear gauge. And with the economy potentially about to default, on the debt when if they don't come to a decision on June 1st. Even JP Morgan is suggesting people have a long position 
on the VIX. You say if we default, the stock market could shed 45%. That's, that'd be the definition of a black swan event. I mean, look, there are a couple times the VIX goes absolutely parabolic. And yeah, you don't want to try to always chase those black swan events because might as well chase sentiment or, or gap and go runners, high beta names. But no, strategize on a position. Don't necessarily dollar cost average into something like that. But, you know, know where you're getting into and, and maybe have it as a hedge, a hedge against your other positions. Because, yeah, if the market dumps, the VIX just starts going straight up, straight up. If I could really only have one of these, probably UVXY. But, yeah, look at maybe just buying shares because, like I said, those options contracts, everything's priced in. You might think, oh, I just need a, a little bit of a move and it's going to move. But, yeah, the contracts are inherently more expensive because the product itself is complex. And last, but most certainly not least, is Yang. Now, I love Yang. Yang ran up 8% today. And at first, it didn't look like it was doing anything. Yang tracks the China 50, the FTSE. I don't know. I just, I just know it tracks China. So I'm pretty much looking at BABA, um, JD, NEO, all those big SE, all those, all those big China plays. And, you know, if they're going up, of course, Yang's going down. But when they're going down, Yang is to the absolute moon. And it's 3x. I was playing Chad for a while. Same thing, but it's only 1x. And I wasn't getting a big enough move out of it. So Yang is definitely where it's at. You know, China started dumping today. Yang went up 8%. Bullish on Yang. The China markets are relatively transparent in the grand scheme of things. Between futures... And all the all the big you look at those high market cap names, JD, BIDU, SE, Neo, any of those names, and you start you'll be able to judge Yang. But yeah, be careful, it's inverse. So China really has to at least start faltering a little bit for Yang to pick up steam. And I called Yang a few months ago, free money, and it's been mooning ever since. I think we're up like what, 30%? I was calling at like 850 maybe. It's at what, 11.50? So yeah, Yang to the absolute moon. TQQQ, SQQQ, UVXY, Marathon Digital, and Yang. So be prepared for the worst, but yeah, expect the best, I guess, because essentially markets do move up over time. So enjoy some green on the screen and to the absolute moon.